I have got a fabulous summertime seasonal recipe for you here. It's a beautiful flatbread, but it's topped with something a little bit different. We're going to top it with a beautiful Greek lamb, and then on top of that, a fabulous Greek salad. This is the ultimate summer sizzler for you and your family to enjoy. First thing you need to do is you need to get your bread dough on. Now, this is 500 grams of strong white flour. It is one teaspoon of salt. 350 mils of water and a sachet of yeast. And we have just mixed that and kneaded it on our mixer for 10 minutes. And then we've left it for 30 minutes. And what we've got is this lovely aerated proved bread, okay? Really important to get that bit done first. To make our Greek lamb, we need some spices. So I've got a dry pan here, non-stick, getting nice and warm. And just to give this recipe some fragrance, some life, we're going to add in some cumin seeds, straight into a dry pan here, and then we're going to add in some coriander seeds as well. And we're just going to toast those in a dry pan and let them crackle, really to come to life. So while they're toasting, I've got some beautiful lamb sausages here. These create the base for our topping. Just cut the middle and just take the skin off. And what you've got is bags of flavour there. There's mint in there, there's a little bit of garlic already. So it's a beautiful head start, really. So the last one, just cut the sausage skin down the middle and just peel that away. So we're going to add some flavour into here. So I've got a red chilli, and we're just going to cut that down the middle. And then just cut the little pith out of there. And then nice and simple, let's just chop these up. So we'll chop them first into little matchsticks. And then we'll pile them together, turn them round, and then just run your knife through nice and fine. I like using fresh chilli, but if you haven't got it, use some flakes of chilli. And then with lamb, a little bit of sweetness works really well. So I've got some dried apricots here, nice plump ones actually. And then we're just going to chop those as well. So every time you bite into this, you get like a little bit of sweetness, but you also get some warmth as well. And then a little bit of fresh mint, lamb and mint, I mean you couldn't get a better combination of flavours. So just pile all the mint leaves and then just kind of roll them up into like a little little cigar and then just run your knife really finely through them You get some nice shreds there and then that can go straight in as well. So these spices have started to toast up now so we're just going to add those straight in. We're not going to grind them or anything. I want that nice bit of texture in there and immediately you can smell the fragrance on that. It's incredible. And then use a wooden spoon and then we're just going to mix this together. And then we're going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil drizzle that over and that'll just kind of loosen it up a little bit and allow us to kind of spread this on our dough and then just leave that to one side and we'll turn our attention to the bread dough. So a little bit of flour, we'll just dust that onto there and then straight out with the bread dough, okay? Just give it a quick knead. We just want to knock all the air out from the first proof and then we're just going to take a portion, that should be fine. I mean this bread dough here will easily divide up into four or five portions. Now it's really important to start with the shape you want to finish with. I'm going to turn it round, nice sort of bread roll type shape and then just dust it in flour and then get my rolling pin and then you just roll and turn and just keep it moving, keep it rolling it will naturally want to spring back a little bit, but don't worry about that. Just keep persisting with it and rolling it out and you want it nice and thin. And remember, we want a nice round shape. Okay, that'll do nicely. And look, you can see how thin that is. You can almost see my hand through there. And look, I can move it about, I can work with it, and it's not going to fall apart, okay? So, lay it flat. And then just take a little bit of flour just pop it underneath and then make sure that you can move that flatbread about. So while I've been working, what I've done is I've put a baking stone in the oven. Dead easy to get hold of, but really, really useful. You can put these in the oven for an hour and just get them really, really nice and hot. And if you do that, the bread will start to cook straight away. So just take your flatbread, fold it in half, get your hands underneath it, just Pop it on the stone and then unfold it and straight away it's going to start to cook. So with a metal spoon and I'm going to take some of the minced lamb and we're just going to pop it on there and just spread the lamb about. It's a bit like a pizza sauce when all the juices and all the flavour are going to soak into the bread as it cooks. This will take literally three or four minutes to cook in the oven, not long at all. So there we go. 
I'm just going to pop this straight into the oven, but just one last touch before I do. A little bit of olive oil, just drizzle that on straight into the oven. So while that is cooking, we're going to make a beautiful Greek sort of inspired salad. First thing you're going to need is good tomatoes. Now I've got some beef tomatoes here. They've not got a great deal of water in them. They're pretty much all flesh. So I can just chop these down the middle and I can just dice these nice and finely straight into the bowl. So with all good salads, you need a dressing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of red wine vinegar over the tomatoes. That's plenty. And then we're going to add some olive oil and then a little sprinkle of dried oregano. It's just the typically Greek herb to use for this. And then we've got a red onion. This is going to add a real tang to it and a nice crunch. So really important, we're going to chop this all nice and fine. Okay, so in with the onions and then some beautiful black Kalamata olives. I'm just going to pop these straight in. And then feta cheese, you've got to really, haven't you? With any good Greek salad, there has to be the feta. Just dice it up, not too fine, but just into small cubes. And we'll just add that in there as well. A few more herbs on the top. And then some fresh mint again. And then I'm very simply, I'm just going to take a spoon and just gently mix all this together. Because when you get this flatbread, you want to get a little bit of everything. And then I've got some rocket leaf here. We'll just sprinkle that on the top and that is ready. The flatbread has had two or three minutes in the oven and we're very simply just going to lift it off nice and quick, okay? And then we're going to take our salad, give it a good mix and then straight on, on the front half of the bread there. Get all the salad on there, so on that front half. Then we're going to take a lemon, cut it in half and then squeeze it over the top there. That's just going to give great balance of flavours. And then final little drizzle of olive oil on there. Maybe a twist of black pepper. All you need to do then is just fold it over and you have got the most amazing summer sizzling Greek flatbread. You make this this summer and your friends will flock to your house for not only this but for the recipe as well. It's got an incredible flavour. It's really fresh, easy to do, and tastes amazing.